Here's a handful of some really sick boards that I made when I was working at Splitlet Manufacturing in Santa Fe Springs. So these are all custom shapes. These were made in 2013. So that's the 2013 stamp. This one's been um, stamped. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, this one's unfinished here. And then this one's got the made in Los Angeles. But these are, this is some of the experimental shapes that I was working on. And this one in particular here is actually the culmination of several boards that I was working on. I mean, I have to say this is probably one of the best pool boards ever made right here. It just never went into production. And, um, man, I gotta tell you, right here, I pioneered this design here and I have proven this in pools and it's just something that just never got out there. And it's mold specific, so this design would be tailored to whatever mold is available. Um, this particular one is a full on, like, early 80s like late 70s style like flat no concave style mold kind of my take on like a dog town like bulldog style shape because we were putting out a lot of those boards at the time and then um this one here with the double front truck holes and the double rear truck holes is another version of this guy here actually believe it or not it's just um in the refining process we had multiple designs and lots of changes and you know and this one right here with the the top both tops are um with bamboo which is this type of stuff is just like you don't really find that i um, mean it's been unfinished you know i have it marked for the trucks and the center line and it's been this was hand shaped and routed like this sucker is ready to go just needs to be sealed drilled and then this is actually a very very clean hand shape i did completely finished lacquered sealed hand painted and this thing is beautiful oh my god you got the the stamp right there you got the full drip man the yellow top stain man this board is a masterpiece in terms of you know craftsmanship the other ones are more experimental but yeah these are some mild board designs I've been sitting on for a while and just never got a chance to put these out in the market in any large numbers. You know, a handful of people got my hand shapes. And uh, at the time when I launched, like in 2010, 2010, man, people weren't willing to pay $100 a deck. And nowadays that's like the standard price for just a regular board. So. That's pretty funny. Let me know if you want any custom shapes. Definitely have the experience, but you're gonna need to send me your uncut blanks or the boards that you want redone or just talk to me and see if I can help you out. And that was mainly what I was known for at the time was taking people's favorite boards and making not just reproductions, but blending, say, your, your board that had your favorite tail with the board with your favorite nose and mixing it up with you know creating like the perfect board so right now my capabilities are more limited but i can still help you out let me know if that's something you're interested in but otherwise these are a handful of my experimental shapes custom shapes and proven shapes that i worked on over the years and things that i had in development in the early 2010s and uh, just never got out there so anyhow, anybody out there want to collaborate on a board, let me know. Otherwise, happy grinds, happy lines, and good times. Have a great day.